Chapter 28, The Civil Rights Movement, Section 2, Kennedy, Johnson, and Civil Rights. Well, in the last section, we talked about the beginnings of the Civil Rights Movement and how the bus boycott in Montgomery, Alabama, eventually led to um, the integration or the desegregation, I suppose, of races on buses there. But bus stations continued to be segregated. And in 1960, the Supreme Court ruled that segregation in bus stations was illegal. In May 1961, Congress, a group called Congress for Racial Equality, planned something called Freedom Rides, which were bus rides that would go through the South that had both black and white people on board. And um, they would go to all these various bus stations that were segregated because most of those stations were not following the, the law that was passed in 1960. The other point of the, the Freedom Rides was to make sure that President Kennedy would enforce those laws. These Freedom Rides often saw violence happen to them. Uh, like the Ku Klux Klan would set them on fire or you know, their tires would be popped or things would be thrown at them. So they were met with um, violence. In 1963, Martin Luther King Jr. organized a protest in Birmingham, Alabama. However... He was arrested for marching without a license. So while in jail in Birmingham, he wrote a letter explaining his commitment to nonviolence. Like, his protest and the people who follow should protest without violence. Um, kind of following in the uh, footsteps of the Indian leader, Mohandas Gandhi, who did the same thing. In May, 2000, in May 2,500 protesters marched and were attacked by police dogs and high-powered water hoses. And all the while, they did not, they practiced the nonviolent protest. In June 1963, President Kennedy announced support for a civil rights bill. African American leaders held the march on Washington to show support for the bill. Many uh, civil rights leaders spoke, including Martin Luther King Jr., who I uh, was supposed to speak for only seven minutes, but he went off script and talked for a, a little bit longer, and he gave his very famous I Have a Dream speech before thousands of people. <coughs> President Kennedy went on a tour of various Texas cities to get support for the Civil Rights Bill. When on November 22, 1963 in Dallas, he was assassinated by Lee Harvey Oswald. Lyndon Johnson became the new president. As you can see in this picture, he is being sworn into office aboard Air Force One with the uh, First Lady, President Kennedy's uh, wife, uh, Jacqueline uh, Kennedy, standing by his side. But anyway, he becomes the new president and urges Congress to pass the Civil Rights Bill. The Civil Rights Act of 1964 became law on July 2, 1964, banning segregation in public places. It outlawed discrimination in the workplace based on color, gender, religion, or national origin. A year later, the Voting Rights Act of 1965 gave the government power to protect African American voting rights. Some other um, civil rights leaders who weren't in the same vein as Martin Luther King, one, Stokely Carmichael, he was the founder of the Black Power Movement, which called for black independence to control their communities and a rejection of integra integration. He basically just wanted independence for the African American community and not worry about integrating with white society. That's Stokely Carmichael right there. Malcolm X, this guy here, was the founder of the Nation of Islam, inspiring the black power movement that Stokely Carmichael was involved in, and argued that African Americans had the right to defend themselves with violence if necessary. Riots broke out across the country, including a terrible riot that happened in the Watts section, a kind of an impoverished section of Los Angeles, where 25 people were killed and hundreds of thousands of dollars of damage done to the, that section of Los Angeles. Then in April of 1968, Martin Luther King Jr., while he was in Memphis for a protest, was assassinated by a guy named James Earl Ray and more riots took place across the country. That is the end of section two.